Buenos días, buenos días. Buenos días. Ready? Buenos días. Buenos días. Coral counting is when I set an objective for students to count by a certain number. And today, the objective was for them to count by 200s and then to look for patterns in those numbers. All right, guys. We're going to do a coral count, counting by 200s today. Big number. Can you repeat what I just said, Jason? We're going to do a coral count, counting by what? 200. Good job. What are we counting by? 200. 200s. And we're going to start at the number 5,000. So we're going to do a core count starting at 5,000, counting by 200s. And when we do that, we're going to also look for patterns and numbers. What are we looking for in numbers today, Schweib? Numbers and patterns. Good job. Sarah, can you repeat what he just said? Numbers and patterns. Patterns and numbers that we're counting today. So we're going to start at 5,000. I want you to watch my pen and count with me. What do you think the next number is going to be before we get started? Anaki. 5,200. 5,200. Okay. So watch my pen and we're going to count together. Ready? Begin. 5,000. 5,200. 5,400. 5,000. So we would continue counting by 200s. And then I would get to a certain point when I noticed students could see a pattern. I would stop and say, okay, can you tell me what the next number is going to be? 6,400. Okay, stop there. Take a look at those numbers that you just counted. What do you think is going to be here? Think about it first. So one thing that I do during my lessons quite often is I'll ask a question so that the entire class can hear it. And um, before any students raise their hand, I have them think. Just think first about what I just asked. And I give them about 10 seconds to think about it. And then they share with the partner around them. Now turn and talk to a partner. After they talk, I bring the whole class back together again. And then I have quite a few students share what either they said or what they heard in their conversations. Okay, finish up your conversations. Give me five. Who can tell me what number comes next? What did you hear or say? I like to give students an opportunity to talk first because so many of them want to share individually. So I feel like if I do turn and talk, everybody gets a chance to have a voice. If they're talking in groups, they can hear so many things going on, different ideas from their classmates and then most of them are ready to be called on. Phoebe said that they line up and we're counting by 200 so um Phoebe if you take the 200 if you take the hundreds out of them you're counting by twos so um that two four six and then so on so on so on. So you're noticing a pattern two four six yeah and so that makes you think 6,600 is going to come yeah. next. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that pattern. Thumbs on your chest or a connection if you notice that we're adding 200 every time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and point that pattern out and show it to you. So from 5,000, 5,200, we're adding 200. Does that pattern continue here? Yes. I used green today just to show the jumps of 200 so students can understand those five jumps of 200 equal 1,000. I use red to show how one column, when we switch to a new column, is adding a thousand. And I used red also when I underlined the place value thousand, when one of my students mentioned that he noticed that there's fives going down one column, there's six going down the second column, and there's sevens going down the third column. And I'll go ahead and underline your thousands that you pointed out. They're all the same on each column. I wonder why. What do you think about that that pattern that Roki noticed, Jason? Well, I was, I, was, I said like no. Uh, Omar said I said that like we're counting by two hundred, so we have to take five times to get all the way to six thousand. So Omar said we're counting by two hundreds, so you have to take that five times to get to six thousand. To get to six thousand, did you say six thousand? Okay, 
Agree, disagree, add on, Anaki. I agree with Omar because if you do plus 200 five times and you, well, four times and you get to 5,800 and then you add one more, you'll get to the next thousand. So if you do that um, a whole bunch of times, you'll, like, if you do it, let's say, um, four times, you'll get to 8,800. So how many 200s does it take us to get to 1,000? Think. How many 200s did it take us to get to 1,000 more? Share. Bye. Bye. It took us five jumps of 200. Nice job. And before we finish, I want you to count by 200s, because we said it took five 200s to get to 1,000. We're going to count by 200s on one hand to see what we land on. Ready? Begin. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. So, so think about what you just did. Would we land on 10,000 if we kept counting? Think. Share. Yes. Nice job. Why would we land on 10,000? I'm not going to let you get away with that. Why would we land on 10,000? Can you add on to that? Because we're going to land on 10,000 because we're counting by 200s and 200s always get, um, gets us to the next thousand. So if we, for example, if we're on um, 9,800, the next number will be um, 10,000 because we're counting each time um, 200s, we're adding 200s each time. So that's how we're going to get to 10,000. Nice job. You guys did awesome. I feel like they really enjoy coral counting because they feel successful. They're not counting, just to be counting. They're counting and they're understanding place value, they're understanding patterns, and then they're able to share those patterns with their classmates, and then they can share it in different ways with the whole group.